Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can get any YouTube thumbnail into Excel for any video. So we're gonna build a formula that does this for us. And then we're gonna convert that formula into a Lambda function so that we can reuse it anywhere we want. Let's take a look. So it turns out that you can get the YouTube video thumbnail for any video based on this URL here. So we just need to replace this here with the video ID, and then that's going to be the thumbnail URL for that video. Now you can get the video ID from the video link or URL, and that comes in a couple of different formats. So here we have the shortened URL, and for this, the ID is just after the slash. Here's the regular video URL. And here the ID is just going to be after V equals. And here we've got a shorts URL. And again, this just comes after the slash for the video ID. And if you place any of those video IDs in this URL format here, you're going to get the thumbnail for that video. So first up to get the thumbnail, we first have to extract the ID from a YouTube video link. And to do that, we're gonna use regex. So here is the regex pattern that we're going to use. And so what it's going to do is it's going to search for either BE slash, shorts slash, or V equals. And then it's going to return the next 11 characters that are either uh, lowercase alpha, uppercase alpha, a number, an underscore, or a dash. And so in regex, these parentheses around that are gonna signify that that's the capture group that we want to return. And so we're gonna use one of the optional arguments in our regex extract function to return only that capture group. And so let's use regex extract on our URL. And the pattern that we're going to extract based on is this one here. And I'm just gonna press F4 to get an absolute reference so that when my formula copies down, then we're just always referencing that regex pattern. And here's our optional return mode where we can specify that we just want to return the capture group of the first match. And when we press enter, now we just have the YouTube video ID. So let's just rename this column to ID. And now based on that ID and using this URL format, we can use the image function to return the YouTube thumbnail. So here we're gonna use the image function and we're just gonna build out our URL. So here we've got the starting part of our URL and let's press F4 and make that an absolute reference. And let's concatenate that with the ampersand and our ID. And let's join on the end part of our URL here. And again, F4 to make that an absolute reference. And when we press enter, we get our YouTube thumbnail. Now you can convert this into a Lambda formula and that way you don't need to reproduce the logic every time you want a YouTube thumbnail. So here I've got a Lambda function set up for this. And so I've got a YouTube thumbnail function ready to go. And it just takes our YouTube video URL and returns the image for that video. So let's take a look now how we can build out our YouTube thumbnail function. So here I've taken my thumbnail calculation and turned it into a single formula. So for this, we're using the let function. So this just allows us to organize our calculation by creating variables and then assigning them values. So here we've got a variable for our video URL and that's just referencing our cell here with our example URL. And then next we're defining our regex that we wanna use. So this is just the regex pattern as a text value. And then next we're gonna use our regex extract function to get just our video ID from our URL. And then we're gonna create our thumbnail URL based on that video ID. And then we're using the image function to get our thumbnail. And then our let function is gonna return our thumbnail. 
Now that we've got that, let's just copy and paste it down here. And we're gonna convert this into a lambda function. And I'm just gonna press Alt Enter and get this on a new line. And so our lambda, we're gonna use this video URL parameter. Let's cut that and have it as our parameter in our lambda. And then we don't need this anymore. So our lambda is just gonna have one parameter, so a video URL. And then we're gonna perform this calculation based on that video URL and return that as our lambda result. And now if we pass this value of this URL here, then that should also work. And so to create our Lambda that we can call with our YouTube thumbnail function signature, we just need to copy our Lambda. So the equal sign all the way down to our closing Lambda parentheses. Let's copy that. And we're gonna go up to the formula tab and name manager, and we're gonna create a new name. And so this is where we're gonna name our function and that's how we're gonna call it. So we're gonna call this YouTube thumbnail. And in the refers to this is where we're gonna paste our Lambda formula. And press okay, and now we've got that as a Lambda in our name manager. Let's close this. And now we're gonna be able to use that using our YouTube thumbnail formula name. And here we can pass it our single video URL parameter and use that as a function in Excel now. And so now we can call our YouTube thumbnail function for any YouTube video URL and get the thumbnail for that video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.